Hello everybody, welcome to the Word for the Week. You know, today I just want to speak a word of encouragement to every single one of you. I know in the world that we live in today, we are faced with a lot of challenges, a lot of situations in our life that cause us uh, to panic, cause us to fear, cause us to cave in and quit. Today, if you are watching this right now, I want you to know and I want you to realize without a shadow of doubt that God is on your case, that God is with you and God has not forsaken you. When you look at everything going on in your life, when you are discouraged by what you are hearing, when you are disheartened by the response of people in your life, or maybe you are disappoint disappointed because of a lack of response from certain people in your life. Look at what God said in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 6. It says, so be strong and courageous. Do not, go, do not be afraid and do not panic before them. For the Lord your God will personally go, before, go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Right? He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Now we're talking about the God of this world, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That God is working on your behalf. That God is here for you. And what he tells us is, he says, be strong and courageous. He says, do not be afraid and do not panic before them. Now before them might look a lot different than it did for the children of Israel the thousands of years ago. Right now, when, when, when the Bible says, or when the word of God says, do not panic, do not be afraid in front of them, it might be in front of the doctors, it might be in front of a judge, it might be in front of relatives, it might be in front of your boss, maybe your customers, whoever it is. Do not be afraid. Be strong and be courageous, not because of what you can do in your own strength or ability. Be strong and be courageous, my friends, because God is with you. And He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He will never let you fail and He will not abandon you. So be strong and be courageous as you start another week in your life. I declare God's blessing over your life. Meditate on this verse and I declare that you will walk in victory this week. Be blessed.